So what up, it's your boy Shake. This is my new slashing shot creator on PlayStation 4. I know, I know you guys saw me make that pure shot creator. And just like in 2K17, I made the same exact build, 6-4 pure shot creator. And I only did one video with him. So more than likely, that's probably the last time y'all gonna see me use him. Unless I get this guy to a really high rating and I'm satisfied with him. I want to discuss with you guys today whether or not you should make a 6-4 slashing shot creator. If this is a good shot creator build. And if this is worth the grind for that 86 ball control. Wish your fix player post up call us the brick layers. Yay movers, scale weight and weight maneuvers. What's worth the time? Cursing the grind. I'm trying to have dough that had me lazy. If ever I'm not my prime. The fiends smile for my shine. They loving my work, the surly bird. So the whole reason for making this build is because he can do a little bit of everything. And I made him a shooting guard. But at 6'4", a slashing shot creator, he gets mid-range deadeye and difficult shots gold, teardropper and tireless scorer, hall of fame. He also gets all three athletic contact dunk packages. So this is a phenomenal build if you can stand the grind. He also gets an 86 ball control. Notice the wingspan at 82.9, I have to drop it down just once. So if you make him 6'4", you have to reduce his arm length just once and you get an 86 ball control. So this means this guy can speed boost. He can get all three contact dunk animations and he's a phenomenal shooter. There's not another build in the game that can do all three things, shoot, dunk on people and ball handle. Most people make a playmaker for the ball handling, a sharpshooter for the shooting or a slasher for the dunking. This is one of very few builds that can do all three very, very well. He can definitely ball handle, and we're talking about an 86 ball control, which means he can speed boost, and he'll get all the cool dribble animations. And this is a guy that can speed boost and posterize big men, and also speed boost and take threes, and fadeaways, just like a shot creator. As you can see, I did buy the VC, maxed out all that I could with the attributes, and now we're in 85 overall. And so from here, we're going to fast forward because I want you guys to know that I'm going to show you gameplay for my very first game with this archetype. And some of you guys might remember last year, my LeBron build, he was a slashing shot creator. And so I'm kind of familiar with this archetype. And as you can see, I don't ever make my first appearance in no neighborhood without having some fly gear on. But I'm going to continue to fast forward this so you guys can see. This is gameplay for my very first appearance in the JRC. And luckily for me, <laughs> he's gonna punch you. We went up against some bums. And to me, I think that if you wanna rep up really quickly, you wanna get a lot of my points, definitely play the JRC. It's a really fast way to do it. It's a, little, it's a lot more fun, in my opinion, than playing my career mode. But you can see I'm getting a lot of lobs from the support of the Shake Squad. But this build is a process. It's not like a sharpshooter when you first make your pure sharpshooter or a stretch. You'll be able to start consistently knocking down threes as long as you're wide open. If you're a slasher, in only a few games, you'll start posterizing people. You know, if you're a shot creator, you can start taking those difficult shots. This guy, he does all three. If you're a ball handler or a playmaker, you already have high enough ball control so you can start crossing people up and breaking ankles almost right out the gate. This build is a process. I mean, he, he can do all three of those things. He can break ankles. He gets an 86 ball control, so he can speed boost. He does get all three of the athletic contact dunk animations. So you will be able to dunk on people and, you know, step over them, put them on their back, potentially jump over somebody. You know, he can definitely shoot threes because he's the shot that's creator. Right, that's right, that's right. Oh! Oh! <laughs> and he can still shoot threes really good. So he's he can do a little bit of everything, the, the kind of things that most people want to do. And that's pretty good. I, I kind of wanted to see what would happen, you know, how soon it would be before I could do some of those things, like what level I have to be at before I can start catching bodies, what level I'd have to be at before I can start speed boosting, and, you know, what level I'd have to be at before I can really start raining threes and raining shots. You know how shot creators are. Once they get into takeover, it's kind of like they're sharpshooters. So, you know, I'm gonna kind of go through that journey with you guys, if I can stomach it. Because I've already seen a couple of YouTube videos as I'm slamming it home. In the second game, first game you saw I had 39 points. 
and I finished that game out pretty good, running up against some bums again, and that's what you need in the JRC. You don't need to go against some try-hard team that's running, a, running, you know, zone defense. You know, reaching on every every single dribble, every time you pass in the passing lane, they reaching on everything. You need to find some bums who are not that good, who are just running with randoms. And when you find a team like that, it's just like my career on Hall of Fame. You play against the bad teams, you'll be able to go off on them. But listen, guys, I did see a couple of YouTube videos with some guys with high-rated slashing shot creators, like a 94 overall, the 95 overall, and or at least a 94 overall, and they still didn't have that final notch for ball handling, you know, filled yet in their attributes. And that makes me kind of nervous because I might have to be a 95 potentially higher than a 95 before I'm able to get that, you know, 86 ball control. And that's kind of why you make this build. You, you want to be 6'4", you want to be the speed boost on a regular. You don't want to have to wait till you get your takeover or build it up some. I know that just one or two dunks, I'm able to start speed boosting, crossing people up. That's cool. But I still, you know, you still want to be able to do that right out the gate. You know, just like, like some of these playmakers. And, you know, it would be really cool to be able to do that. So here's another game where I dropped 41 points. This is the second night that I made this player. If you want to make a new player, try to make your new player around these events where you have four hours, you know, five hours of double rep. And I always tell people, if you have a friend in the West Coast or a friend in the East Coast, play on the East Coast servers and then play on the West Coast servers. Let's say the Reese's event is about to pop off. You could play in the East Coast servers for a good four hours and then wait an hour and then you can then play in the West Coast ah, servers for at least three hours. If you stick with that method in the first night that you create that new player, he will definitely go from an 85, that is if you buy the VC, to at least an 88 or an 89 in one night. So you can wrap up really fast. The only problem is you ain't gonna have no badges. So for all you guys that have been playing me in the JRC or on the park, this is a brand new build. He still ain't got no badges. I'm, I'm sitting on bronze everything. Everything I've gotten is from the JRC. So it's kind of hard to compete. You know, with some of these guys out here right now with all these badges, I'm missing shots. Uh, right now, you see me score a lot in the fast break. And that's because we just play great defense. I'm getting steals. And we're on the break. And regardless, if you score 30 points or more, you're going to have a big game. You're going to get a lot of my points. I, I keep saying rep. Because I, I like the word rep. I don't, I don't know what he came up with with my points. Why did he have to change that? I like the rep. But you guys know what I'm talking about, man. I'm out here playing some defense, running across his body, stealing it. I'm going to lob it to self for the 360. Ugh. This is a slashing shot creator, man. This guy can speed boost. He can posterize you. And he can definitely shoot threes, shoot the mid-range difficult shots as well. So this is why I made this build. Hope you guys like that footage. i got a lot more to come. Stay tuned. Wow, this must be what the deleted scenes in Get Out look like. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh. Jesse Ashir, big fan. Uh. Wait a minute. Is that the I'll get to you when I get to you girl from NBA 2K18? Telling ATM to sit his ass down? Hey, I. Nice to meet you. Nikhil, we never met, but I was over at Nike when you signed. Yeah, I definitely feel like I would have remembered you. It's okay. Come on, let's sit. I hope you guys don't mind, but I took the liberty of ordering ahead. Food will be here shortly. Uh, I take it you aren't a fan of big crowds? Actually, Michael rented out this place for us. Just a small indication of how much he wants you and how he treats his family. Because that's what Jordan Brand represents, his family. You know, Michael handpicks each one of his guys. Let me ask you something. What's the one trait that Russ, CP, Kawhi, Maya Moore all share? They dogs. Exactly. They're killers, just like Michael. All he ever cared about was winning. That's his true legacy. Not the MVPs or the dunks. He will be remembered as the world's greatest competitor. <laughs> Shoot, Steve Kerr got the black eye to prove it. <laughs> yeah, and who was the first person I get him when he beat Sonics? Kerr, yeah. You see, it's like that. Look, I know picking a sneaker brand, it's all about identity. I rewatched your college announcement this week. You said you wanted a school that would put you on a stage. But what happened? You and the coach butt heads and instead of showcasing your talent, you end up with the Scarlet A, attitude. And that is GM poison. I mean, no wonder you didn't get drafted. But you persevered, and you are back on that stage. 
We both know every decision you have made since you were 16 has been a business decision. That's just the game. Switching high schools, AAU team, leaving college, China, G League. You have a thousand people in your ear and every single one of them has an opinion. The key? Just don't overthink it. Trust your heart, not those voices.